Carby's all back on, all hooked up. Carby's all hooked up. Chokes all hooked up. The Patriot Campus race team and local mechanic Paul have just solved the mechanical issue that's been troubling them all weekend. After two long and tiring nights, they fixed the fuel pump problem just in time for race day. We got two cylinders, we're back to 65 k's. I'm, I'm ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic. It's finally race day, and as the sun rises over Renmark in South Australia, the Red Bull Dinghy Derby is about to kick off in a big way. We've been testing this whole trip, and it hasn't been easy, but now it's time to get in the race mode. <laughs> Let's do this. The Red Bull Dinghy Derby draws thousands of people to the sleepy South Australian town of Renmark. And for one weekend a year, it turns into a racing fan's nirvana, with competitors coming from all round Australia to race the mighty Murray River. Justin's no stranger to racing, but he's not used to racing like this. No roll cage, a course riddled with hidden obstacles and unpredictability of water make this one of the most dangerous sports in the world. Pre-race jitters are definitely starting to kick in. I had no idea this race was going to be this long until we got down here and started to look at that course map. It's a two hour race and the secret to this race, it's all about endurance. We've got to finish. We've got to finish. We're after this one. Well, I think they're going to do all right. Uh, the 25 class is pretty competitive, so they're starting in the right class. And uh, yeah, this year we actually got a few extra boats in the class, so uh, I think they'll be in there. This is your first big race, mate, right? Yeah, this is my first one. These nerves are far more than I ever expected them to be. They are intense. Doesn't matter what the race is about or what you're in, your heart's going a million miles an hour, you get a cold sweat coming over you, you don't know what the race is going to hold. Tell me when it goes green, Bobby. This is what we live for. When the gates dropped, it was like being in scrum. This was absolute carnage. I think we got the top ends. Let's get onto the straight and see if we can pull away from the rest of the pack. Just watch it. Go left a bit. Go on this side of the orange marker, this side. We're not quite on the pace. We weren't used to having this many boats around us and that much wash. All we need to do now is try and find some clear water and run our own race. Justin and Bobby are off to a cracking start, and after banking K's through the long, winding turns, the first of the narrow creeks approaches with overhanging logs and submerged obstacles. This is what the boys have prepped for. The field was starting to split up into two groups, and we were starting to chase down the lead group, right as we were entering a creek, which we thought we knew pretty well. With all the wash around us, it wasn't until the last minute that we saw this slog. Is that a prop? Here, get the tools ready. Unfortunately, we hit it. And this is not good. I'm gonna pull him here. Give me the tools. We've smashed the prop. This is our worst nightmare. Huh? You straighten it? Pliers. Oh, it's gone. Need pliers. That's detonated. We've lost the whole blade. I'm freaking out. This is chaos. We're only at the start of the race. Give me the other prop. Don't lose that. You can tell. This isn't his first rodeo. Straight in the zone, getting the job done. Shifter. Split him. Yeah. Put them away. Push us out. That prop change, it felt like a lifetime. But the job's all done, and I can tell you what, mate, this is where the fun starts. Hold on, we got some serious work to do. After a lightning fast repair on the course, the boys are back in the race. 
They're gaining quickly and are about to head through one of the toughest parts of the course. But they're about to realise they've made a massive stuff up when packing the spares. Stay in here. Yeah. During practice over the last couple of days, this was the creek that I was most worried about. They don't call it Carnage Corner for nothing. Keep your head down. But with this prop, I could feel something was wrong and our worst fears were about to be realised. Go, 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 go! The replacement prop it just can't handle these tight turns. It's not set up for it, but it is cavitating bad. It is absolute carnage. Go, go, go! I can't get on the plane, Bobby. Huh? I can't get on the plane. The Patriot Campers crew have had a rocky start to their first foray into tinny racing. Their Red Bull Dinghy Derby weekend has been marred by broken props and near crashes, and the boys are struggling to make up lost time. Justin and Bobby need to put it all in the past and get stuck into finishing this race. This is good to the other end, man. The prop is a big deal. Standard class, you can only run aluminium props. You trim them and, and just shape them a little bit to, to get the maximum speed out of them. So it, basically it's all in the prop after you've got your boat set up. Well, that's our class. After a nightmare run through Carnage Corner, Justin and Bobby start to gain back a few places on their way into Plumbers Creek. This is their chance to make up some lost time. All right, get ready. After Carnage, that creek is exactly what we needed. A perfect run. But next up, we've got Log Creek. This is Log Creek. Yeah. Where is it? Where's the entrance? Over there, where the boat is. And I made the mistake in practice. I'll listen to you this time, mate. Stay back. I think they were pleasantly surprised. They got out there and, and saw what's really in the creeks. I mean, it looks good on the on the videos, but uh, when you get out there and actually have a look, it's uh, a whole lot different. There's no doubt about that. Which way? Go, 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 go! That's it. Go, 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 go! Good call, man. Good call. Good call. Good call. Keep looking. Seriously though, this race has got to be one of the craziest things I've ever done. Yep. If he stuffs it up by one inch, it is all over. Now I'm putting all of my trust into Bobby. Ultimately, he's the guy steering the front of the boat. This is all about teamwork. Got it. Which way? Which way? But sometimes, you just get it wrong. Push us off, Bobby. Yeah, Push us good. off. Push us off. Go. Go, go, go. We're right. We're right. Go. I knew even when I was growing up, going through the creeks, we'd, we'd come back in and someone would take me a different way through a different creek and you'd sort of go, where the heck are we now? But the way they all link together is going to take a bit of getting the head around. Take it easy, man. The Red Bull Dinghy Derby is a 90 kilometre circuit made up of long straights where the boats reach speeds of nearly 100 kilometres per hour and a maze of narrow creeks barely wide enough to fit the boat. 
The entire race is close to an hour and a half of gruelling racing over choppy wakes. It's been described as motocross on water. Endurance racing, that really seems to be my jam when it comes to motorsport. Now it's all about setting your pace. The first thing that you've got to be concentrating on is finishing the race. After two hours bouncing around that tinny, we were definitely starting to feel it. And you feel it both physically and definitely mentally. Forward, 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 forward! Come back, come back! Ah, ah, oh. ah what? Oh, damn, my back hurt. Did your back? Yeah. I hit my back on the transom. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish this. The Red Bull Dinghy Derby is a complex format of two short laps and two long laps, and it's easy to lose track of where you're racing. The last creek to conquer before the home stretch is Nelbuck, a shallow, long and tight stretch. And when the boat you're racing in is made up of just 1.6 millimetres of aluminium, one wrong turn and one and a half hours of racing is over. Honestly, by this stage, all I wanted to do was finish the race. Now, carnage was crazy, but coming into Nelbuck, this creek is flat out dangerous. There is stuff everywhere. If we were going to come unstuck, this is where it was going to happen. Take it easy. The fatigue is really starting to set in. It might not seem like a lot, but holding on to that 25 horsepower, I think it was starting to take its toll. Stop, 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 lift it up. I can't believe it. This is our last prop and we're deep in the timber. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Lift it up. Quick. If this prop's gone, that's it. It's race over. Quick, lift the motor up. We're good? We're good. Yep. Thank God we hit that log dead on. Now, let's get this boat home. Turn, 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 turn. Woo! We're still here. That crash, it woke me up. I'm back in the game. We're taking this home, brother. Which way? We were in the zone. We had our timing perfect. We just sent it. Clear of the last creek and it's nothing but wide open water. This is familiar for Justin, where racing is about positioning, power and sheer determination. Go, go, go. By this stage of the race, my body was aching. Thank God for adrenaline. Stay on the inside, stay on the inside. We can see the finish line, and as long as we can hold it together, we're going to make it. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Get lean back, mommy. Go, 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 go. Hold it wide open, mate. Let's get there. Just hold into it. Can't wait to see the boys. They're about to come over the finish line. I'm so excited. The whole family's here. Yeah, baby, we did it. Well done. Good job. Well done. You made it, hey? You made it. We made it. First grade. <laughs> the first turn into the first grade. Hit a log and just smash the props. Smash the first prop and the first turn. Well done. Oh, it was well. awesome. What a feeling. That is by far one of the best things I've ever done. 
Justin's backing off. I was like, don't worry, we're not going to flip. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We were just like, bang, 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 bang. Oh, it was sick. After all that stress and all that effort, the boys so deserve to finish that race. Oh, we're coming back for sure. We're coming back. Yeah, I'm ready to race again. Well done, mate. Good job. Good on you. We'll be back. With all the blood, sweat and tears put into getting down here and doing this race, I'm proud to see Dad and Bobby finish it. But next year, dude, we aren't missing out. We're involved in that race. Beer? Do you want a beer? No. The feeling of finishing a race is indescribable. It's a moment that you work so hard to get to a certain point, to a destination, and when you cross that finish line, the feeling's always the same, and that's what keeps you coming back. In Renmark, I'm pretty sure there were a lot of doubters. People thought we weren't going to finish the race. And I tell you what, having the whole family there to witness it, it's going to be pretty hard to beat. Next time on Patriot Games. Justin takes the mega tourer on its first proper touring trip as he leads a six car convoy into one of the most spectacular locations in Australia. Do you know that this river has the highest population of crocodiles in all of Australia? That's awesome. But the rising tides stop them at the gates. There is no way we are going through that. No. And with time to kill, they decide to spend it fishing for the iconic barramundi. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's huge. With some salty onlookers. That is a big crocodile. That's cool, huh? What do you think of that? Look, oh. you can see where his body was.